By default, your Cadence team doesn't have a live search option. What do I mean by that is, if you click on search and search for something, for example, album, then nothing shows up. Today I'm going to show you how to add a live search to your Cadence team. For example, if you search for album, then the search result is shown here. And what's great about it is that it also searches through the variations and the SKUs. Let's take a look. This one here is SKU ABC123. And it knows that this one here is a single product with this SKU. Or I'm going to search for blue, which is a variation for this product. If I click here, it opens up the product with a variation already selected. And also you can use live search on your sidebar. Take a look. So let's jump in. Go to your site, then open up plugins and add new. And now search for Ajax search light. As you see, more than 50,000 installation, it's a good plugin. So install it and now activate. On the left, you will see the settings. Let's go and take a look at them. First, compatibility settings. Take a look at those and uh, if you find some of them useful for you, for example, remember search phrase and options when using browser back button, then turn them on. If you use advanced custom fields, then this one here is useful for you. And save. Performance options, use custom Ajax handler on and crop images for caching on. Save options. If you use Google Analytics, then this one here should be either event tracking or tracking as page view. Probably event tracking is the one you need. Maintenance mode, if you want to reset all the options, then click this button. If you want to wipe all the database and deactivate the plugin, then press this button here. Now, let's add the search to your site. First, if you haven't done it already, go to Appearance, Customize. Go to Header and uh, add the search widget on the place you want it to be. If you want to search it only products, then you don't have to enable this one because we are going to override the option with the Ajax Search Lite plugin. So just add it where you want it to be and customize it. Publish and go to the Ajax Search Lite here. First, try to replace the team search with Ajax Search Lite form. Of course we do. We want to override it. Try to replace the WooCommerce search with the Ajax Lite form. Yes, of course. And now we're going to show what kind of post types we would like to show in a search results. I want to use it only for products because I have an e-commerce site, but maybe you also have a post here. Therefore, leave that one on and drag products here and variations here. Search in title, search in content, search in excerpts. I do, do not want to search in permalinks and I don't, don't want to search IDs. But I want to search from the SKU fields. Therefore, I'm going to search for SKU and drag it here. And now save. Let's see how does it work. Okay, something already has happened. Let's search for album and it's here. Great, now let's customize it. But before we do that, some other things for you to take a look. Under general option behavior, you can modify how do you want the search to behave, whether to show only exact matches, keyword logic and or or with exact word matches or and with exact word matches. Here is the explanation for you. Here you can define the maximum results on the drop down. This one here is a rather important thing to do. When clicking on the magn magnifier icon, what to do? I'm going to show what happens. 
album if i click here it shows the search results but no pricing and it, it does not look like an woocommerce search results page therefore i'm gonna tell them redirect to woocommerce search results page and if someone presses a return key what happens also i'm gonna re redirect them to woocommerce page and save options now let's see what happened let's search for album and enter and now we are on the woocommerce search page ordering you can tell what is the order of the search results and autocomplete whether to turn it on or, or off images let's see what does that mean album again and here are the featured images at the moment they are a bit big for my taste therefore i'm going to tell that image width is 40 pixels height 40 pixels and the primary image source is featured image featured image size source is thumbnail save options let's see what happened the images are much smaller and they take uh, less space and it looks much nicer next one front end options show search setting on the front end it would be wise to leave it off layout options here you can see how does the search book looks like i do not like the red one here i can choose this one or this one but i like this one or even this one much better I don't want the search box to be shown on the full width as you see it doesn't look any good therefore I'm gonna set it to auto and save now let's take a look what happened it looks like this if you would like to be it a bit bigger then set it for 50% for example on a desktop and full width on tablets and full width on mobiles I'm gonna save and let's see what happened well there you go let's search for album here it is but there is one more thing I would like the live search to do I would like to see the price next to the title out of the box the plugin does not provide this options therefore I'm going to show you a code snippet you should add to your teams functions PHP file or better yet use the code snippets plugin for it therefore go to plugins add new if you already don't have the code snippets plugin then search for code snippets install and activate it and then you'll see snippets on the left click on add new and paste this code I'm gonna provide you in the description of this video paste it here give it a title select only run on site front end save changes and activate now if i go to my shop and search for album it's it shows a price if i search for variation it shows a variation and the price and if i search for sku abc123 it will show me the product with this SKU. If I click on it, it opens up. So this was a short overview how to add the live search to your Cadence team search. The great thing about this is that it works also on the sidebar. But take a look. Since we added the width 50% on the layout options, then it does not show up very nice up here and that's why i suggest you to set as auto save options refresh and here it is let's search for logo and it works like a clock so if you find this video useful then share it to others press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel 
If you do that, then you will be the first to be notified about the new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.